please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Hi, I'm Sherry and welcome back to the Kitchen Prescription YouTube channel. I would just like to take a moment to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, however you choose to celebrate this holiday season. I hope it's healthy and happy. Now let's get into today's recipe. I'm originally from the Northeast Ohio area and this cookie is very, very big there. It's called the clothespin cookie. Some people refer to it as a lady lock, a cream horn. The clothespin cookie is a light flaky pastry cookie that you wrap around an actual clothespin and then you fill it with what's called an ermine frosting. I have used buttercream frosting before but to be honest I prefer the ermine frosting. It has like a lighter less sweet taste and goes perfectly with that light flaky buttery pastry crust. It's so good. I promise you. This year I thought I would try making different combinations of the ermine frosting. So this year I'm going to try lemon, a chocolate. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Again, the clothespin cookie is very popular in the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, Youngstown, Ohio area, places like the Mahoning, Trumbull County area, to as far west as the Cleveland, Ohio area. You will most definitely find the clothespin cookie on any wedding cookie table. If you don't know what a wedding cookie table is, I suggest that you Google that. I usually only make this cookie around the holidays because it is a bit labor intensive because you're laminating the dough. So you do have to let the dough rest for periods with butter spread in between the layers and fold the layers and build those layers so you have that very delicate, flaky, buttery crust. This really is one of my most favorite Christmas cookies ever. Before we go, one more thing. Please don't judge me for a corner in my kitchen that has been ripped out for over two years. It's a little embarrassing, but it is what it is. All Nana wants for Christmas is a new kitchen. Now let's go bake some cookies. I don't want a lot for Christmas. I won't even wish for snow. I just want a brand new kitchen so I could film my YouTube show. For this recipe, you're gonna need 16 tablespoons of butter. I'm cutting off four tablespoons of the butter and putting it back in the refrigerator and I'm going to set the other 12 tablespoons of butter to the side to come to room temperature and we will get to that later. We're going to mix all the dry ingredients together so put two cups of all-purpose flour into a bowl. I'm using a half cup measuring cup so that's why I'm putting in four of those half cups of flour to equal two cups. Two cups, I repeat, two cups. Add one tablespoon of granulated sugar. I'm using salted butter so I did not add any salt to this recipe. Whisk the flour and sugar together. I've retrieved my four tablespoons of cold butter and now I'm going to just slice it into cubes to add to the flour mixture. Cut in the butter mixture with a fork until it's well incorporated. You want the mixture to look like almost a fine sand. I'm mixing together the wet ingredients. One half cup plus two tablespoons of whole milk. And two egg yolks. Who's not afraid of the double chin angle? Hmm? Not this lady. I'm going to mix it and pour it into the flour mixture, but not all of it. 
just enough to hydrate the flour. You don't want a sticky dough. And I definitely did not need all of it. I'm just gonna knead this till it comes together and it's nice and smooth. I don't know about your dough, but my dough likes when I spank it. I'm going to wrap this and put it into the refrigerator to chill for an hour. One hour later. Now I start the lamination process and I'm going to do this a total of three times. Three times. The recipe link has detailed instructions for everything, so don't worry about anything, just enjoy the video. I'm spreading four tablespoons of this room temperature butter over the dough, and then I fold the dough four times, which you will see in a moment. Remember, you're going to complete this process three times with an hour of chill time in between. Fold in half. in half again, fold in half again, and fold in half one last time, wrap it up into the fridge to chill for one more hour. One hour later. And here's my second round of lamination. Remember, you have to do this three times, but I'm just showing you twice so you can see how the process goes. Remember, three times. After the third round of lamination, I wrap it up and put it in the fridge overnight. If you wanted to bake your pastry cookies the same day, you absolutely could. You would just leave it in the refrigerator for an hour to chill. Let's cut in and have a look at those layers. frosting you need 12 tablespoons of room temperature butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste, and three tablespoons of confectioner's sugar, one cup whole milk, four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and one cup of extra fine sugar. I like my sugar like I like my men. Extra fine. Add the flour and the sugar to a heavy bottom pot and whisk that together. Add the milk, turn the burner on medium, 
whisk constantly until the mixture thickens and this might take some time but you'll see when it thickens up. I stir this for a minute or two until it cools down and then I pour it onto a plate to finish cooling and put some saran wrap over the top so it doesn't form a skin. This does need to be completely chilled before you add it to your whipped butter. I decided I needed to eat lunch. Shout out to Natasha's Kitchen for this fabulous Sloppy Joe recipe. It's time to whip the room temperature butter and add the thickened flour and milk mixture. I am using salted butter. I don't believe I mentioned that, so I did not add any salt to this frosting recipe. I whip the butter until it's light and fluffy and then I begin adding the thickened flour mixture. I'm adding half the mixture at a time and I am also switching over to my whisk attachment. ever seems a bit runny I will add a tablespoon of butter and icing sugar until I reach the desired consistency Separating the frosting into two bowls and we'll add lemon flavoring to one and mini chocolate chips to the other. I prep my ermine frosting by placing it into saran wrap and then into piping bags and place those in the refrigerator just to keep them a little cool while I'm baking my cookies. dough in half and I roll them out separately. You want your dough thickness to be about a quarter inch thick or roughly the same thickness as a quarter. Half of my dough I will cut into smaller pieces with a pizza cutter and the other half I just cut into regular longer strips. Feel free to make them the size of your choosing. I preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake them on the center rack and then I begin wrapping my dough around seasoned clothespins. These will bake until they're risen and golden brown in the oven on the middle rack. I usually start checking them after 13 minutes of baking. While those are in the oven, I roll out the other half of my dough and cut those into the longer strips. I let them 
cool for a few minutes on a wire rack before carefully removing them from the clothespins. Now it's time to fill them with the frosting and I just come in from both ends. sprinkle with some icing sugar to make it extra festive. And there you have it, homemade all butter clothespin cookies with a delicious lemon and mini chocolate chip ermine frosting. get the full recipe at thekitchenprescription.com and in the link in the description below. That's really good with the lemon frosting. Want to try one? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Whatever you choose to put on your cookie tray, I hope it's delicious and made with love. Visit thekitchenprescription.com for more recipes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.